got my bowl all ready. And if nobody's ever had soup bean and cornbread, you don't know what you're missing. The taste is so good. And I hope you really try this recipe. Enjoy. Because I know I am. But if anybody needs the recipe, just message me. It's really good. And I really appreciate you watching. Today, my uh, neighbor had given me some corn, and he also gave me a big zucchini, which I'm going to dehydrate. Um, but what I'm going to do today is, I don't know if ever, anybody has ever had fried corn, I'm going to fry some corn. Now, some of the options are, my mom has fried some bacon, you can use the bacon grease. Or if you're vegan, uh, you can use just corn oil and a little butter, you don't have to use bacon grease or... Um, salt pork or anything like that if you don't want to but the first thing you got to do and this looks like pretty good corn is you want to shuck the corn get this get all this off and I'm going to keep all of this the ends because my girlfriend has chickens and ducks and so they're gonna love that okay so I'm just gonna put that in the bag and then what you want to do is you want to I always keep the handle there and hold the handle okay make sure you get the most of this soaks off as much as you you know as much as you can um, and there's a little bit of bad part right there so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut that off and the chickens are gonna love that and then what you want to do is hold it and what you're gonna do I got a bowl and you're just gonna kind of like shave down like that, all the way around. And you wanna get the, the little milks, the juice that comes off of there. This knife seems to be doing pretty good, you know, and just go all the way around. it off there and I like to kind of scrape it like that to get like the juice um, off of it and if I don't I mean you can do as much as you want however big your family is you know um, but if you were gonna make like we were gonna have an outing I probably would do probably six or seven years uh, to get a mess um, and I don't have that many so what I might do is to go ahead and throw, if I have it, I can't remember if I do, a bag of frozen corn um, in there. And what you're really doing with the corn is you're going to put your, you're going to use bacon grease, a little butter, get that all in there. Not a lot of salt because you know your butter has salt. And then what you're going to do is put your water in there to cover. And then you're just going to simmer that down until the um, corn has absorbed all that water. So 
I mean, you can imagine, and I'm trying to get every little bit I can because I don't have that much. Um, the pigs and the chickens are just going to love this, so I'm going to put that in the bag for her. Um, and I've only got about three more ears, but just give me a minute, and I'm going to get this all shaved up so you can see what it looks like. Okay, everybody, I'm sorry I had to switch to my uh, computer because why? Because the phone said that I had too much storage in there or something. I don't know, something crazy. But anyway, so I've got my corn boiling here. So everything that I recorded before, it didn't record it. But anyway, so that's all you do is just um, let this boil down. Uh, add a little butter, a little pepper. I've got my corn that I'm going to add later. Okay, and it has to be regular whole corn, not creamed corn. Make sure you drain the juice, and it doesn't have to go in right away because this corn is cooked, um, and this corn isn't. And the smell, it just reminds me of Mamma because that's what you would make us, you know, for dinner would be, you know, you'd have your fried corn, your cucumbers, your slices of tomatoes, your cornbread, uh, maybe your fried potatoes, slice of onion. So this is bringing back a lot of memories. And this dish is easy to do because all you have to do now is once it's at that roaring boil, you just have to turn it down. I wonder if that light is too much. Uh, you just have to turn it down uh, and basically you're just going to let it soak up all that water that you put in with about a half a bowl of water um, and let that cook down. And then when it's kind of almost done, I'm going to throw that can of corn in, okay? Um, any, if you, I had a few bad pieces, uh, you know, that I found, just a few little brown pieces. I mean, nothing, you know, major. Just take them out. You might have a few little silks in there. That's going to be okay. Um, and you optional bacon grease, optional pieces of bacon, optional. Um, you certainly can do this um, if you did not want to use butter or bacon grease. If you're vegan, you don't want to use anything like that. You can use a little corn oil, vegetable oil, salt, pepper, and it'll work. I'm sure it'll work just as good, you know, to your taste. And uh, I do have a zucchini that I'm going to dehydrate too. That's going to be another video. Um, and now I just turn that down. I don't know if my if the camera. I might have to bring this over. I'm sorry. I don't know if this is gonna. I don't know how this is gonna. I don't know if you can see that. You see that boiling away there. So I'm going to turn that down to more of a medium, not even a medium. I'm going to turn it down to a low. I'm going to turn it down very low uh, so that, you know, and it's probably going to take, mm, I'm going to check on it in about 20 minutes, see how it's going, give it a little taste, make sure the flavors are all there, see if the corn has that good flavor. Then I'll dump in my other corn, uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to use my computer because, I don't know, can you get, tell me why does this phone keep saying, you know, you're full, and then it just cut the video off. It didn't even keep the recording. It just deleted it. So I guess I'm going to have to learn and try to just use the computer, which I know it's not the best quality. It's kind of fuzzy and hazy, but the best we can do right now. Uh, and, of course, I look like I'm 300 pounds. Um, but that's life. What are you going to do? So when this gets a little bit down and I'm ready to do the next step, I certainly, I'm going to bring this back and let you know what I did. Okay. My corn has cooked down. I shut off the light up there because I thought maybe there was too much of a glare, but, um, you can see it took about 30 minutes, um, for it to cook down. And then I added the can of the corn for another 30 minutes so about an hour tops and I'm going to shut that off and I can't get the computer over here so I'm just going to bring the pan to you guys I don't know can you see that see how good that looks and uh, so I've already cut up my tomato uh, from the garden my mom had to use some of it, and uh, so I cut up some of that. I have a cucumber I'm going to get, and I thought, well, I didn't have any cornmeal, so I just used one cup, so that's about one cup, of self-rising flour, one egg, a little milk, mixed it, 
just put it in this pan and I just made a little hot bread. I don't know if you can see that. So it's just a little hot bread. Um, it's real easy to make. I mean, you could, I could make biscuits, but it's just really hot out today, so I don't want to. I know there's a glare from somewhere, but anyway, hopefully you can see you can see that good hot bread. It's really good. And uh, so that's what I'm going to have. I'm just going to get the um, get the tomato, get that cucumber. I'm going to plate it up, and that's going to be my meal for today. Um, so let me go get the cucumber and I'll plate this up and I'll show you what everything looks like when I'm done. So just give me a minute to go pick that cucumber. Okay, here it is. I hope you guys can see that. Let me put this down a little bit. <gasps> Woo! It's almost an accident. My goodness. See if I can tip that down so you guys can see it. I don't know if you've ever have a, had a southern meal, but that's basically what we would have. I just don't want this to fall, but um, yep, that's your. And I did find a ever so small radish. Very small, but it smells good. Uh, I've got the flour bread or hot bread they call it your corn i've got onion here from the garden everything here except for that can of corn and the bread is from the garden and that's going to be oops that's going to be the delicious deliciousness today so that's what that's what i'm having and if you like this video give it a thumbs up like and subscribe and if you've never tried this uh, fried corn you like I said you can use it with canned corn it just probably wouldn't cook as long but you would flavor it however you want the same way add a little bit of water and cook it down and uh, so I can't wait to dig in so I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next video I'm gonna say so long <laughs>